Hi guys, it's Brad from Supercar Driver Training and today I am at Onyx Performance in Slough where I'm going to be putting the Project Plaid on the dyno to see does it really produce a thousand horsepower or does it even produce more? What we're planning to do today is a few runs from 95% all the way down to 70 to see what really is the performance and how much horsepower loss do we get. Brad, I've got bad news for you. Oh no, why? been here before a few times I brought my personal 911 Turbo S here and my Bentley Continental GT Speed last year and uh, Sam one of the co-owners really nice guy he does all the work here he's really professional he does a great job on the dyno let's have a chat with him so hey Sam Brad how's it going how you, you doing right? Sam my friend how are you doing I'm all good thank you how are you you all right I'm very good thank you can you tell me a little bit about this place and where we are all right so guys we are Onyx Performance we're in Slough we've been here for over five years we do vehicle tuning here we do all the performance upgrades and of course we're the only people around this area with a four-wheel drive dyno that handles up to 2,000 horsepower. That's important, isn't it? Because I remember when we were looking into dynos, there was people that said, oh yeah, we can put the plaid on, but yeah. they would only do like 500 horsepower or something, and that would not cut it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Our dyno can handle two-wheel drive cars and four-wheel drive cars as well. So right. that's quite important for you as well. Massive, yeah, 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 yeah. And so what are we thinking today? Uh, when it's at 95%, are we thinking it's going to get 1,000? Are we thinking it's going to get 1,200? What, what, what's your thoughts on what Tesla is saying? So what I think is that, number one, with Tesla's temperature makes a big difference off the battery, possibly off the motors as well. Yeah. So I've got a Tesla myself, and I know sometimes when the vehicle is cold, it's not giving me the best performance. Right. Or if the battery is low. In your case, the battery is around 90%. 95% right now. Yeah, so 95%. So if it's at 95%, the temperatures are all good, I reckon we should get the full power. What does factory quote? So factory quotes, uh, 1,020 brake horse, yeah. and I think 1,500 newton meters of torque. Okay, I reckon as long as the temperatures are good, yep. you've got good tires on there, we'll probably hit that. Yeah, I mean, I would hope so. I mean, the car has actually done a few miles. It's yeah. got 35,000 miles on it now, so it's not brand new out of the packet. I reckon the motors and the battery are ready to go to 200,000. Wow. I mean, that, I reckon. that would be impressive because yeah. I think in the car at the moment, we've got an app and it says the car's battery has got a degradation of around 13%. Okay. And battery should be 100 kilowatts. So we're talking, we've got like an 85%, you know, 85 kilowatt battery. So I'm hoping it gets over a thousand because I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going for the world records next year in okay. this car. So in this car? In this very car. Yeah, this okay. is the one we're using on the track. This is the one that I've got to try and yeah. get all of the world records on um, all the GP circuits around Europe. Okay. So I'm really hoping it hits those power. So you're happy if it hits over a thousand horsepower? Oh yeah, I'll be happy if it hits over a thousand. I mean, the app tells me it's hitting up to 1100 at certain times, yeah. but that's when, you know, the battery's the right temperature the motors the right temperature you know that's not that reliable I don't think but no. as long as we hit over a thousand yeah I think it's got enough so one thing that we was a bit reluctant or a bit worried about was that number one this car hasn't got a gearbox it's not a manual it's not an automatic it is electric motors and yeah. it's a battery yeah. so we are not able to carry out a transmission loss and also we're not able to do the runs specifically in fourth or fifth gear right. um, so that's that is what we're worried about as well so we're gonna have to see this is the first electric car that we're having on the dyno and it's definitely the first electric car that we're having over a thousand horsepower coming on the dyno as well yeah so we're gonna have to see how it runs and we'll see what happens we've seen a couple of videos on youtube we've done our research for them it didn't look like it went too well yeah. um apart from the hub dinos it looked okay yeah. so we'll have to see what happens really well that's it i think i mean i've seen that you've put like straps everywhere <laughs> front and back you've made sure this thing is strapped now yeah. hard to the earth so i'm yeah. confident it's going to do uh, a good job so um let's give it a go i think let's just run it and we'll find out what happens fantastic let's do it All right, guys, he's just done, I think, four runs. Let's see what it got, because I don't know, but that was scary. All right, Sam, Brad, I've got bad news for you. Oh, no, what? I'm joking. What I want to point out is this is the first electric car that we've had on our diner. Okay. Over, over, it's supposedly over a thousand horsepower. Okay. So it has made, on the first run, 
1051 horsepower. Jeez. 1075 horsepower on the second run. Wow. On the third and the fifth run, it's made 1085, 1091. Now, I'm going to ignore the torque because okay. that is incorrect. I wasn't able to do the transmission loss, okay. so the torque is incorrect. Okay. But horsepower, what did you say from factory this is? 1,020. 1,091 horsepower. Wow, that's amazing. And it was absolutely crazy on the dyno. While, obviously, while we were doing it, it was scary. That was scary, yeah. Honestly, I had the Porsche <laughs> there before, the Bentley, and you hear it and you feel it and you get the exhaust. But this, it just felt like pure power. It is pure power. And also, as you can see, look, it, the solid line is the horsepower. It is pretty much smooth up until, to be fair, we don't even know what speed or RPM range it is because it doesn't understand that. Well, I mean, in the app, it said you got to 195 miles an hour. Yeah, 195 miles an hour. Bloody hell, that's quick. In under literally 20 seconds. It is super fast. Wow, amazing. So this is going to 100% perform on the track like I want it to. 100%. And Tesla is saying it's got 1,500 newton meters of torque. So if we take into account that this is saying it's actually producing more horsepower to the wheels. Yep. So would you think, what, 1,800 newton meters of torque? Do you know what? It's hard to say. I can't give you that figure because we haven't been able to get that figure. So I don't want to just throw figures out there. Sure. That I couldn't tell you, but the horsepower is bang on more than you want. Yeah, I mean, 1,100 effectively. Yeah, 1,100 horsepower. <whistles> Damn. Further plans for it? Yeah, I mean, we've got loads. We've got tomorrow, we're getting the um, Supercar Drive Training Ceramics fitted. Yep. We're going with four 40 40s on the front, so like this big. Yeah. And we've got three, no, four 10s going on the rear. Then we've got some hard race uh, parts going on for the suspension. Then we've got a track pack wrap going on there. Okay. We've got a lot in the pipeline. Would you recommend this car? Oh, God, yeah, 100%. Because this is the first one I've actually sat in, been in, and actually seen here in the workshop. Would you actually recommend this car? I would every day of the week because at the end of the day, right, this car from factory can yeah. do everything. It can self-drive. It comes with free supercharging for life, so you yeah. never pay for petrol. Yeah. It can do 350 miles on a normal charge if you're driving like a normal okay. person. Yeah. It can do all of that, and then you spend a little bit of money yeah. and make it into a track weapon, and you can outpace GT3 RSs, GT2 RSs, SF90s. Any Lamborghini. Any Lamborghini easy, you know, yeah. that's the thing. That's why I chose this car. That's why we decided at Supercar Driver Training, this is going to be the one we're going to try and get those world records in. Because right now it's the Taycan Turbo S yeah. and the Yang Yuang, I think it's called. Okay. 1500 horsepower. All right. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, next year we're going to get a world record on every single GP circuit in this car. And just out of interest, you said you're having the brakes done to ceramics. Yeah. What are the brakes like right now? Oh, the brakes right now are like toffee. They are useless, honestly. Useless. They are so completely useless, yeah. <laughs> they're, I mean, the car's 2,200 kilos, yeah. and they're steel, and they're not very big, and... Okay, if you're driving on the road normally, I'm sure they're going to be fine, but take it on a track, and you're whacking those brakes on yeah. last second. Nah, not holding. It's dangerous. So, no, that's a big, big upgrade that we're doing. Just out of interest, this spoiler, did yes. you put it on or did it come like this? No, no. This spoiler was fitted by Amber yeah. Performance in Luton, okay. uh, one of our partners. All right, yeah. And um, it's actually from APR, a company in America. It's actually a GT500 wing. Yeah. And at 160 miles an hour, this is rated for 965 kilos of downforce. Okay. So some serious downforce yeah, yeah. on the track. And we just... Well... I was going to say, can you tell that it makes a difference? But 100%. It, it did make a difference. 100%. Yeah. And to be honest with you, when we first fitted it, so it's braced inside. It's got like a triangular brace inside the, inside the rear hatch, and it actually comes down. And we got that much downforce that the boot lid was pressing into the, uh, the bumper. And okay. actually made a yeah, mark yeah, yeah. into the bumper. <laughs> so we had to get extra support under there. But yeah, yeah. Up a bit. in the car itself, you've got settings within the suspension where you can check the amount of downforce and the pressure that's on the struts. Okay. And it was saying like 950 excess. So it's going over 950 kilos of downforce. Yeah. Huge amounts of downforce. Okay. And that's on its most lean setting. Yeah. This is on five degrees. Yeah, yeah, it can, be it can go all the way up to 15 degrees. Yeah. And that's something else we're thinking about in the future is to actually get some um, actuators put on here and use it as an air brake. So that's something else coming in the future that okay. we haven't told anyone about yet. But anyway, thanks so much for doing this today. No it's problem. been an absolute pleasure as usual. No You're problem. an absolute professional. I can't tell you how good Onyx performance is. If you're in London or surrounding areas, Slough, this is the place to come. They do all the best cars, the most powerful cars. They're the most professional of all the places I've been for doing this. Yeah. So a massive, massive thanks. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop your comments down below. And these guys' information will be in the description. Thank See you guys. Later. Thank you.